Good morning, everyone, and thank you, choir, the choir eternal, invisible. Wonderful to hear those wonderful words, that wonderful epiphany song, and welcome. Hallelujah, arise and shine, for your light has come, and the glorious God has risen upon you. Hallelujah, and welcome to this first Sunday in Epiphany. And we know it's Epiphany because the wise men have turned up with a rather looking disgruntled camel looking out at everybody. So there they all are in our manger scene. The last of the visitors have arrived. Our Lord is indeed among us. We start with a few notices. Um, just to remind you that if you wish to collect your Christingle kits, you can do so this morning between 10.30 and 11.30. The doors on both ends of the church will be wide open and we ask you to just come in, sterilise your hands, pick up your kit and leave quickly and then go home and do the fun bits. Uh, and if you can take photographs of your finished Chris Dingles, whether you're holding them or not, I leave that up to you and then send them to me, that would be absolutely brilliant. Uh, we also have a giving uh, Christmas tree on the site on our Facebook page. Um, and if you wish to go and give to the work of the Children's Society, you can do so by going there and clicking on. That would be brilliant. Um, it will be there until May, I understand. Uh, as you know, again, we had our manger scene up down by the uh, roundabout next to the Christmas tree. Uh, and that has raised £1,786 for the work of the Ark. So thank, all, thank you all who donated to that. And once again, thank you to the team, to Steve and his team who put, the, put it up and took it down again. On the coldest day of the year, I think they took it down. Um, as a witness to the church, it is a wonderful thing to do. And in a wonderful public space where... At least a bus goes past every 20 minutes. So if nothing else, the passengers on the bus can see what we're saying. Yep. So that's £1,700 raised and a numerous witness to the community about the wonder of Christ coming amongst us. So thank you, everybody. Shall we begin our worship? In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Our prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear the summary of the law. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, the first commandment is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the only Lord. You should love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And the second is this. 
love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Amen. Lord, have mercy. The grace of God has dawned upon us through the the grace of God has dawned upon the world through our Saviour Jesus Christ, who sacrificed himself for us to purify a people for his own. Therefore, let us confess our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence through weakness, through our own deliberate fault, we are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sin. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness. And keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our collect for the first Sunday in Epiphany. O God, who by the leading of a star manifested your only son to the peoples of the earth. Mercifully grant that we who know you now by faith, may at last behold the glo your glory face to face through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And so we come to our readings. Our first reading is taken from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 19, beginning at verse 1. While Apollos was in Corinth, Paul passed through the inland region and came to Ephesus, where he found some disciples. He said to them, did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They replied, no, we have not heard that there is a Holy Spirit. Then he said to them, into what were you baptized? They answered, into John's baptism. Paul said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him. That is Jesus. On hearing him, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul laid his hands upon them, the Holy Spirit came upon them and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Although, and altogether, there was about 12 of them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our gospel reading. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Christ was revealed in flesh, proclaimed among the nations, and believed throughout the world. Hallelujah. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Mark chapter 1, beginning at verse 4. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming the baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole of the Judea countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel hair and with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locust and wild honey. He proclaimed, the one who is more powerful than I is coming after me, and I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Now in those days, Jesus came from Nazareth to Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart, and the Spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven. You are my son, the beloved. With you, I am well pleased. 
This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Our sermon this morning was written by Margaret and uh, she started preparing it before the present situation and the lockdown happened. So she, I'm going to read it on her behalf. The Lord be merciful unto you and bless you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and bring you peace. God is shining his light upon people and making it possible for peace to come about. Although in Mark's gospel he doesn't mention the birth of Jesus, but goes straight to the significant moment of Jesus' baptism. A moment when John the Baptist had his own revelation of who Jesus was. A moment of clarity. An epiphany moment. We can still at this time remember that the light that went before the wise men as they followed the star. With their camels and their gifts, they traveled for many days seeking a king, bumping into Herod, who was filled with fear that some other king might want to take his place. That puts to mind the situation in the US. So many things have happened in the past year that we would not have thought possible. Leaders who put their position ahead of the people they serve. Perhaps we all tend to think we know best, but we remember how Herod tried to trick the wise men into telling him where the baby might be found. Bethlehem in Judea, they said, because they had read the ancient writings and looked at the heavenly signs. Then bring me word, Herod replied, when you have found him. So the light went before them until it stopped over the place where the young child lay. There they found the child and his mother Mary and presented him with gifts, gold, frankincense and myrrh. And then they were warned in a dream not to go back to Herod. So they returned home by another way. From the shining light of the star to the glow of the presence presented there in magical glory about this story. Magi, who had came, come to see the wonders that had occurred, bringing gifts. Caspar, Melchiai, Balthazar are the names traditionally given to these wise men. Although in truth we have no way of knowing if this is accurate. The gifts that are presented are to be said to be full of meaning. Gold for a king, frankincense, a fragrant gum obtained from the trees found in the region of Saudi Arabia and Yemen. And being holy and priestly. And finally myrrh, also from a thorny tree of the Camphiae Myrphus genus, and said to as a medicine which produced a sweet fragrance and was used to purify at times of illness. Much as camphor oil has been used in modern times, our Vicks Raper rub contains some. Healing is significant to us at, the time, at this time as we look for relief from the present pandemic. It is a time of great difficulty and sorrow for many people. And we look with hope to the vaccines that are beginning to be distributed. We pray for all who are affected by the suffering and distress of these times as those who signify as significant gifts, scientists, the medical professionals, and each caring person who give time and effort to help ease the distress. As the wise men brought their gifts and an air of mystery to the stable scene, they also brought an expectation of things to come. Not least that peace which we talked about earlier, a peace that the cruel deeds of men like Herod tried to obscure. A peace that is still longed for today, especially in those areas of Yemen where war is rife. A peace that is longed for in the Middle East and in the Western world where love of God and neighbor can be easily disrupted and selfish anarchy take over. As the wise men were warned in a dream of the danger of Herod, Perhaps this year we can endeavour to do all that we are able to shine as a light for peace. A light for a new beginning. As Jesus was baptised in the River Jordan and so began his spiritual life anew. His teaching, healing and peace. Then we likewise start afresh. 
not in the name of our particular faith or person, but as as St. Paul says, because we are baptized in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Margaret, for those wise words. And so we come to declare our faith in God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, and for us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. He was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the Scriptures, He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, we acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And so we come to our time of prayer. And these prayers have been prepared by John Rigby. Thank you, John. Father God, as we begin a new year, We continue to worry about the future, but we know you are always listening to us when we pray. We give thanks to all those in creating the who have been involved in creating the vaccine, which is now available to protect us from this terrible virus. We hope that we may finally all meet together in the coming of months. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are still suffering at this time, and we thank those who are caring for them. We remember in our prayers all those in our local nursing homes who have not seen family and friends for many months. As a church, we continue to help the food bank in our area, and we pray for those who need to use the food bank to keep their families fed and safe. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember in our prayers all those mentioned in our pew leaflet who are unwell at this time. We pray also for the family and friends of those who have recently passed away. Father, wrap your loving arms around them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Finally, Lord, we pray that we will come out of this with continued faith and friendship and that friendships will be rekindled and that life will be back to normal this year. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. So we come to that occasion in this service when we can share in the peace If you are with others as you watch this, you can share it together. But the reality of God's peace is it came and dwelt amongst us. And that is the reality of where we are. That that peace still comes out from heaven and descends to the earth. It is shown in the spirit of God that we share together. Even at the times when we cannot be together. The peace. Our Saviour Christ is the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and of peace, there shall be no end. The peace of the Lord be always with you. 
and also with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace in the words of a prayer, in the glass grasp of a hand, in the kiss past. Amen. Father, in Christ there has sprung up a light for the righteous. Accept the offerings of your church and grant that Christ may shine in us to the praise and glory of your name. Amen. This morning I'm going to be using Eucharistic prayer A with the prefaces. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. You celebrate your new gift of baptisms in the signs and wonders at Jordan. Your voice was heard from heaven to awaken faith in the presence amongst us of your word made flesh. Your spirit was seen as a dove revealing Jesus as your servant and anointing him with oil of gladness. So he was to preach good news to the poor. Therefore, we celebrate the union of earth and heaven. We rejoice to echo the songs of the angels in heaven, forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his commandment, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. Who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them saying, drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself once made for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension and we look for his coming in glory. And with this bread and this cup, we make the memorial of Christ, your son, our Lord. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Accept through him, our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us 
in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. So let us together pray as our Saviour taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. The body of Christ broken for us. The blood of Christ shed for us. Our prayer after communion. Lord God, the bright splendor whom the nations seek, may we who with the wise men have been drawn by your light discern the glory of the presence of you through your Son, the Word made flesh, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. And so our blessing. Christ, the Son of God, perfecting you the image of his glory. And gladden your hearts with the good news of his kingdom and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. And just a quick notice for Dorothy. I'm wearing it. Now may we go in peace to love and serve our Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. <laughs>